The Dental College of Georgia was founded in 1969, and our founding dean was Dr. Judson C. Hickey, affectionately known as Judd. Uh, Dr. Hickey's vision for the Dental College was one where he wanted to marry the clinical sciences and the basic sciences. The school was just getting cranked up to have uh, students, and they were looking for basic scientists, and Dr. Hickey was very adamant about wanting the basic science people to have dental degrees so that they could relate the basic sciences to the students. So the students not only knew how to do things, but why they were doing them. Uh, and some of us also worked in the clinic, supervising the students in, in the clinic. And the idea was you carried the, the learning from the laboratory and the classroom right into the clinic. Now it's sort of the norm, but at the time this was a very unusual new concept. Our first class, when they took the DATs, they were in the lower quarter of the national. When they took the national boards as they were ready to graduate, they were number two in the country. So, you know, that made us feel good that at least we were making an impression. We were in the trailers and we had uh, offices in the old nursing dormitories, which were located where the children's hospital is. And they, they were temporary offices, and so we shared offices between basic science and clinical science faculty. And so we, we got to work together and to know each other, clinical faculty and the basic science faculty, for the most part in most schools, stayed completely separate. When our students had to go into the clinic, they built a temporary clinic building, which was one of these, uh, they call them butler buildings. And we were there for about, uh, about a year and a half before they opened the building on Laney Walker. The AD building was established several years after the program began. Having the new building allowed the entire program to be under one roof. So we had the simulation lab, the clinics, and the basic science research and clinical research areas all housed under one roof. The AD building was our dental school for over 40 years and many of our dental students graduated from that facility and we have a lot of memories. Various student groups from the different colleges along the campus created floats and they would parade the floats down Laney Walker Boulevard. Well, the um, dental students would create catapults and then scurry around the dental school filling water balloons and they would pelt the water balloons at the unsuspecting participants. There are about three to four thousand water balloons, several hundred jello balloons. A large catapult has been installed on the roof of the parking garage. To do what now? just to celebrate Alumni Week and to... Uh, to completely create havoc on Lenny Walker Boulevard. Yeah, that's the general idea. Over time, as dental technology expanded, the operatories had to be larger. And so, as we did a feasibility study to renovate the old building, it was gonna cost $55 million to renovate it. And so, the city of Augusta donated 12 acres to the Medical College of Georgia at the time, and that was a game changer. So now we had a lot more opportunity to design a building that would really fit our needs. We're here today to break ground on a new facility for the state of Georgia's only dental school, thanks to the good work and support of countless men and women. So thank you for celebrating with us as we begin construction on the state's new home for dental education, dental research, and dental care. Well, today's the day. <laughs> I'd like to express my gratitude to my two predecessors, Dr. Judd Hickey, the founding dean of the School of Dentistry, and Dr. Dave Myers, the second dean of this great school. Thanks to all of you for your role in history, in the history of this school and in our future. Students, this new facility is for you.
this grand opening of this facility is an important day in Georgia's healthcare future. The expanded dental program here is just in time to help us meet what this community understands is a pressing statewide need. With this beautiful new facility, we are building on a legacy that began in 1969 before we even had a building to teach in, and George Schuster is sitting over there, he was one of the first faculty here, um, when classes were conducted in two temporary trailers. From those modest beginnings and the graduation of our first class in 1973, we have trained more than 2,000 dentists. Most of them have stayed in the state, but we need more. So we now have the capacity to grow and expand the legacy begun by our founding dean, Judd Hickey, and his family is here today, thank you for coming, by David Myers, and he is here today, who served as the dean for 12 years, and by Brad Potter, who was my predecessor for two years. Thank you, Brad, for being here. There are two people in this audience, in particular, that have not been pointed out. Carol LaFay, Darnell Taylor, stand up ladies. These are the people who brought this building together. I am really excited to continue that wonderful legacy in our students, residents, and faculty. I guarantee you are the best and the brightest in this country. And so thank you for helping us build a worthy building for these folks. And we're so appreciative to everyone who had a part in it. Good afternoon, students. Today is a great day for the Dental College of Georgia, and it's because of you. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the 16th Annual White Coat Ceremony. Welcome to the students who are being honored this afternoon and to the family, friends, and faculty who have supported them along the way. The White Coat Ceremony signifies the transition from the dental student honing their technical skills primarily in the simulation lab to having the privilege of treating patients. We pledge to honor the following principles. Every Each day class before, writes a unique oath that is read at the White Coat Ceremony. To expand our knowledge. Family Day is a university-wide event where the students teach their family members how to prepare teeth, how to wax, crowns and how to pour impressions. The dental students actually spend more time with each other than their own families. So family day is also an opportunity for their families to meet their dental school family. Having worked now with some students from other schools at this clinic where I volunteer, I'll stack our students against any of them. Maybe I pray. The Dental College of Georgia began in very humble beginnings with Dean Hickey really promoting a family environment and we continue to promote that today. And we're extremely grateful to our alums, to our faculty, our staff, our students and our residents who have helped us along the way and will keep us on the trajectory of moving the Dental College of Georgia forward. When I came in this room, and looked around at this room. And as I had the chance to look around at you now, I tell you in total sincerity, I am honored to be your dean. You're a wonderful looking group of people, and you're dedicated, you work hard, you make us look good, and I appreciate it. I want the faculty to get 